There's no use denying it, Bane. All the evidence is pointing at you. You were seen with Olivia the morning before her disappearance. Her headband, with the musical notes you wrote on it, was found near Peter Ross's body. Your cupboard was filled to the brim with the killer's signature card. Yellow Lotus Flowers. So what? Yes, I saw Olivia, yes! I wrote some music on her headband. She was having a terrible time, and I was being there for her. I mean, I wrote a song to cheer her up. What about the lotus flowers in the cupboard? I don't know anything about that, but I have a hunch, and a good one, that this is all Archie Thompson's doing. And why would Archie Thompson, a man of stature and literary accomplishment, do something as childish as planting fake evidence on someone who's jealous of him? You're not actually saying that he is the Lonely Hearts killer. I am not jealous of his accomplishments! Are you all blind? Archie Thompson is taking every last one of you for a ride! And he keeps making a fool out of me because I'm the only one who notices! But oh, I'm not the fool here, no way! Everyone around me is! And yes, that blasted Archie Thompson is the Lonely Hearts killer! Sure, I don't have any evidence, but it's him! I just know it! You're holding me here for no reason when you should be taking a good hard look at him instead! You were seen in the park today, loitering around the fountain. Oh, how unusual for a citizen to take a walk in the park! Don't smart off now. We have eyewitness testimony saying that you were acting suspiciously, snooping around the fountain and the statue where Peter Ross was found, as if looking for something. What were you doing there? Speak up! <sighs> That's none of your business. We'll make it our business! Talk or else! Surely you realize what's going to happen to you when they find you guilty. You better level with us, boy. Detective Green, sir! I have an emergency report, sir! Well, spit it out already, Evans. There's been another murder. Another victim of the Lonely Hearts killer. Ah, oh, you see? I told you it wasn't me! Damn it. Don't worry, Mr. Wright. It's not Olivia. Listen to what I'm saying! Bring Archie Thompson in, and you'll be saving a lot of lives! For all we know, there could be more than one killer out there. What? Uh, hello, Logan. Sorry it took so long. I didn't get your message immediately. What happened? Owen, there's been another murder. The body of Elizabeth Kirk, Jonathan's niece, turned up near the port. She's been missing too, as you know, but she's always been the runaway type, so no one raised a ruckus. I'm afraid this time it was serious. Oh, Lord! Heaven forbid that Olivia do... that she... Owen, we still have time. I know that's little comfort now, but we're doing everything we can to find her. I called Archie Thompson in for questioning. Leonard Bain, of course, is running his mouth, but we had to check his statements. Archie Thompson is a rather strange character, if you ask me, but he has an alibi. The night of Peter Ross's murder, he was playing poker with Jonathan Kirk. Cleaned him out, too. Plus, we have several eyewitnesses that saw them together on the night of the crime. Well, that's not helping. We don't have any leads again. You're right. We have nothing to go on here, but... We have a new victim, and we might catch a break at the crime scene. Evans is already there with a couple other blue coats. Archie and Charlotte are also on their way. They wanted to comfort Jonathan. This is just too hard. But we can't sit around and do nothing. Let's go, Logan. Let's hurry up and go! Hmm. The bridge is up, so Archie Thompson and Charlotte should still be at the pub. Owen? Would you please let them know that we're going to Jonathan Kirk's soon? Meanwhile, I'll be at the crime scene. All right, Logan. I'll catch up with you later. Damn it. Owen, are you still there? This thing is stuck. Must have been a while since they oiled it. Listen, could you put some grease on the drive there? Olive oil should be fine. Just a minute, hold on in there! I'm not going anywhere.
it's you. Oh, this is such a tragedy. Poor Elizabeth. Oh, this must be especially hard for you, since the killer has Olivia too now. Oh, forgive me, Owen. Please, forgive me. These are terrible times. All these horrible things are happening and nobody knows why. Poor Jonathan needs our support now, more than ever. Logan says we should all meet at Kirk's. Thank you, Owen. Truth be told, we were getting tired of waiting. Jonathan is a good man, if you put aside his love of poker. He's so broke right now that he can't even afford to pay for Elizabeth's funeral. We're going to help, of course, but he really needs to do something about his gambling. You know, Owen, I once heard a fascinating story. It was both romantic and tragic. A man met a woman and they fell in love. Their love was passionate and untamed, and they were oblivious of everything around them. They came from different worlds, but never cared what people said. Love for them was the center of existence. But one day the light fainted and gave way to darkness. The crystal of illusions fell and shattered to pieces. The woman had gone missing without a trace, as if she never existed. Her lover was crushed by the pain and the horror of the unknown. Despair ate at him until he too faded away into nothingness. And what became of him, no one knows.
Thanks, Owen. I'll be waiting for you at the crime scene. What the hell is going on? Who would do such a thing? Mr. Wright? Sir? Maybe it's better if you didn't look. It happened just over a month ago. Elizabeth received news that her fiancé had died at sea. The Lonely Hearts killer got wind of this, and here we are. Jonathan Kirk is beside himself with grief, but we understand he has some information regarding Elizabeth's disappearance. He says he remembered something. We need to go talk to him. And we need to find out who's been stalking us and shouting all those threats. I'll see you at the bridge. That was strange. Who was shouting back there? You know, come to think of it, strange is becoming quite the everyday word around here. What with everything that's been going on. I get it wrong so often. I really don't know why Detective Green still keeps me around. I, I do love my job though. It's a privilege to serve society, even in these hard times. Somebody's got to do it, you know? We need to get across the bridge, but for some reason the handle on the lowering mechanism is missing.
Excellent. See you all at Jonathan Kirk's house. This is getting out of hand. You see, Logan, this was all my fault. I should have reported it when she went missing, but Elizabeth had a habit of running away from home and staying out of touch for a while. So I didn't think much of it when she disappeared on me again. I understand perfectly, Jonathan. Now, I was told you had some important information about Elizabeth. Yes, yes. Not long after her fiancé died. Elizabeth told me she saw something suspicious in the abandoned railway tunnel. I brushed it off at the time, but after what happened... Did she say what it was? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, it's something we have to follow up on regardless. We'll check the tunnel. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you to let me know how it goes. Owen, we need to examine the railway tunnel. I'll be waiting for you there. All right, Logan. Poor Jonathan is beside himself. I've never seen him like this before. Look, I understand this isn't the time or the place, but what happened was entirely Jonathan's fault. 
Oh, you must think I'm cruel. But I'll say this much. You have to watch young people these days, and Jonathan couldn't take his mind off poker long enough to think about the safety of his own niece. I'm sorry, Owen. I've told you everything I know. I'd like to be alone for a while now, if you don't mind. Matilda really surprises me sometimes. Jonathan is dealing with a tragedy here, and all she can do is put the blame on him. Really, even supposing what she said was true, at a time like this you just don't bring something like that up. This is an unusual lock. I have no idea how to open it. Owen, we need to think of something. There might be important clues in that tunnel. You're right. Time is of the essence. Listen, Logan. On my way to Jonathan's house, I heard that voice again shouting threats at me. I'm worried about that. I am too. We have to find out what's going on.
anymore! This is the end of the road for you! Who are you and what do you want? Good job, Owen. Let's not waste a second. It's too dark to see in there. They used to put illumination systems in these tunnels to make it easier on maintenance crews. We should turn the lights on so we can get a good look inside. Close call. You... you should have been dead. How did you... Jonathan, are you insane? What are you talking about? You murderers! You should have died in there. You should have gotten what was coming to you. Jonathan Kirk, I am hereby placing you under arrest for attempted murder. <laughs> 